sort of things can we find in the Martindale Public Law Directory? Let's look for the Corporate Law Department of Union Provident. I would go to the spine of the book until I found which volume had the Corporate Law Departments. In this edition, it is Volume 1, and it does have Corporate Law Departments. So in the back of the book, we will have alphabetically listed Unum Provident as part of the corporation's law departments. And we will have then their uh, constituents, all the attorneys listed, and their education, even email addresses, and information about the law firm and what it does would be addressed. So that's one thing that we can answer from volume one this edition. We also will start the different states listings. What about Tennessee? What can we find out about the law directory for Tennessee? Volume 10 in this edition has Tennessee in it. And then we will look for the Fleshner law firm and try to find a rating of it. We have the blue pages in the front of the book under Tennessee, Chattanooga, that will list our law firms. I'll go to Fleshner, and I'll see a rating of A, B. This is a very outstanding rating. And you can find what A, B stands for in the very front of the book. This is highly rated, and will tell a little bit of information about the firm in these profiles. This is practice profile section in the blue pages. But let's go to the back of the book under Tennessee Chattanooga, and then we will find more information, again, about the Fleshner firm that will give us not only the attorneys, but it will do something very special. Not only their education and information address of the firms, but it will tell representative clients, if you are going to sue a prominent baking company in the area, you don't want to pick a law firm that represents that law, uh, that client. So you want to notice what representative clients that law firm will uh, represent. And you can find that in the Tennessee volume for the Martindale Law Directory. But suppose you have a relative that's overseas, and that relative gets in trouble. You might like to find what attorney speaks English in that country to help your relative. In this case, we'll go to the International Law Directory, and I've just picked some selected volumes in the set to show you. And the International Law Directory for Bangkok, Thailand would be in the Asia volume. So this volume would include Asia. Now it has an index of cities. So alphabetical listing of cities, I look up Bangkok and find out it is in Asia-Thailand. So I go to an Asia section in the book. There is an Asia section. And then I will go to Thailand, and I will find the city of Bangkok. And I'll look until I find a law firm. It will tell us the address, information, contact information about um, the firm, what they do, and I can start looking for the attorneys. And I might want to find some attorneys that have been educated in American law schools or perhaps was born here. So that's very helpful. And you can pass that along to your relative. What about finding different states' laws? Suppose you're interested in Connecticut and you want to know about their fraudulent sales laws. I will go to a volume in Martindale Hubble Law Digest for the U.S. states. And I, of course,
scholars would know that Connecticut would be here, and it is a law digest. Now, Connecticut, of course, has a listing of the topics, and I would know that fraudulent conveyances would be under the debtor and creditor section here. And I'm after the page number in the Connecticut Law Digest section where I can find the summary of the law. It's page 24. So I take that page and come over to the debtor and creditor section, page 24 in this edition, fraudulent sales and conveyances, and I'll find a summary of the law 